A great leader manifests the difference. A leader, a great leader. If you are a good leader, if you are a great leader, you manifest the difference. People, there must be a difference between you and ordinary people. And the difference must be able to be seen. Look, the difference is not for you. The difference is for the people that are watching you. If you are a leader and people look at you and see an ordinary person, there is something that is not right. Look at what the Bible is saying. Let's go back. And they were astonished at his teaching. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. He was teaching just like there were other teachers before Jesus. The Pharisees were teachers. The Sadducees were teachers. Lawyers were teachers. But his teaching and the difference. He did not just manifest service. In a service, he manifested the difference. He did not just teach. His teaching was different. We can all be serving. But there are few people that manifest the difference in their service. We can all do the same thing. But great leaders manifest the difference. They don't just give service. In their service, the people watching must see the difference. There were other teachers. And they were astonished. The people who were listening. Remember these people. These people have been listening to teachers before. So Jesus was not the first teacher. He's been teaching before. There are other teachers who have been teaching before him. But when he begins to teach, he knows people are attracted to something different. So his teaching was different. And they were astonished at his teaching. For he taught them as one having authority. And not as the scribes. The people were amazed at his teaching. Because he taught them as one who and authority. Not as the teachers of the law. So he was a teacher and there were other teachers. But his teaching was different. What tells people you are different is not what you tell them. It's the difference they see. When you manifest the difference, you don't need to tell people you are different. Jesus never trying to convince them, you, oh, you know, I'm not like, you see, I'm different. My ministry is different. I'm not like the Pharisees. I'm not like the teachers of the law. He did not do that. Because when you manifest the difference, you don't need to convince people. So this morning, you should ask yourself, in my leadership, is there a difference? When I start, when I stand to do what I do, can people see the difference? When people observe and see what I'm doing, can they see the difference? Or they say, ah, it's one of them. If people put you in the group of one of them, the problems of all of them will catch up with you. If you are just like one of them, what attacks general public will come after you too. When he began to speak, when he began to teach, they said, this man, there is something different about him. His teaching is different. He is showing us that he is not one of them. He is showing us that he is different. And that what he has brought is different. When people know that what you brought is different. They will be attracted to you. Great leaders don't just offer service. Because even people who are doing things in secular setup. They are also offering service. Yeah, there is service everywhere. The one sweeping the town for county council is also doing service. And if you don't manifest the difference, you are one of them. There were many teachers. Remember, it is not Jesus who said, my teaching is different. It's the people. Those who are sitting down, listening. 
they saw the difference and they talked about it. They said, it's not teaching like the teachers who have been there before. It's not teaching like our teachers. His teaching is different. So Jesus did not just teach. He manifested the difference. Difference is a requirement in leadership. If you don't manifest difference, you are just one of the copies. I'm challenging all of us from now. Don't just offer service. Show the difference. Manifest the difference. In your field, manifest the difference. Let people say, when he does what he does, there's something different. There's something different about this lady. There's something different about this man. Let people say that. It's a good testimony. When you get the microphone to do what you do, let people feel there is something different. We can all come and clean the church. But have you realized that the cleaning done can be different depending on who did the cleaning? For instance, people can come on Monday and do the cleaning. And others come on Wednesday and do the cleaning. It is the same church. It is the same setup. But the difference can be seen. People can sing the same song. But people are able to feel the difference. People can preach the same message. The same. Read the same scripture. Make the same statement. But people can tell the difference. That difference is necessary for your leadership. People are not attracted to similarities. Something that is common doesn't have a lot of market. If your service is common, it has no market. Whatever is spread everywhere reduces value. Look, Jesus never went to Bible school. Jesus did not go to the schools that they were going. The only cutting edge that Jesus earned was power and difference. You can have power by doing it like others. Even when you have power, you must engage the power differently. For instance, Jesus and so much power for healing. But you will realize almost everybody that Jesus healed, he healed them differently. A blind man. All of them are blind. One blind man comes and he lays hands on him. And he asks him, can you see? Yeah, I can see, but I'm seeing people like trees. And he lays hands to him the second time. And the man sees clearly. His blindness. The problem of blindness. Another blind comes and he prepares the clay and put on his eyes and says, go and wash. He's solving the same problem, but differently. When you manifest difference, you create expectation. People are looking forward to see you do it. People are looking forward to see your service. If today he has a blind man on the eyes of a blind man, we are looking forward to see what we will do to the next blind person. Desire to manifest the difference. That's what leaders do. You may be doing the same thing, but you manifest the difference. He was teaching just like other teachers, but Jesus knew that his ministry is hanging on this, the difference. He knew the only way to beat the Pharisees is not to quote the scripture, is to do his ministry differently. When you manifest the difference, you easily defeat competition. He just taught, but there was no competition in his teaching ministry because he manifested the difference. And people could feel it. Could, people could see this, this teaching is not like these other teachers. There is something different with this teaching. The people were amazed. They were surprised. The people were what? Amazed. Amazed means surprised. They were very surprised at his teaching because he taught them as one who had authority. Not a 
us, the teachers of the law, there were other teachers, but in his teaching, he manifested the difference. We can do the same thing, but manifesting difference gives you wider market. Manifesting the difference markets you. Jesus did not say, okay, now because the teachers of the law are teaching, I will come and prophesy. No, he did not come and do something different. He did the same thing they were doing. But in doing it, he manifested the difference. It's the same thing. He, he taught. He came and taught just like the teachers. People are looking for new things because they have a deficit. We are looking for new things. New things. I want to do ministry in a completely new way. I want to be a new kind of a pastor. You don't need to be a new kind of a pastor. You need to manifest the difference. We are all called, we are all pastors, but as I do my pastoral duties, I will manifest the difference. People will feel the difference because difference can be felt and can be seen. People can see the difference. They were surprised. What happened to the people when they under the teaching of Jesus? They were surprised because of his teaching. But remember, he was not the first teacher. There were other teachers, the teachers of the law. He did not come with something new. He did not say, because now these guys are teaching, let me come with, with something new. Element number two. Great leaders go ahead. By example, they go ahead. They don't follow. They go ahead. You can never become great as a leader by being behind those you lead. The greatest influence on earth is the influence of example. When you are a good example, you affect people when they are not even aware. When you are a good example, you impact people even when they are not aware. Something is coming from you and entering them when they don't even know. Jesus, have you discovered that Jesus never sat his disciples one day and told them, this is how you do it. He never sat them down and told them, this is how you cast out devils. He never sat them down and said, this is how you heal the sick. He just created an atmosphere for them to see the example. Did you realize that Jesus never told his disciples, Jesus never gave his disciples don'ts and do's. He never sat down and told them, don't do this, don't do this, this is what you do, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Do you know why the don'ts and do's are too many in the church? Because there are few examples. When there are few good examples, the don'ts increases. I've discovered as a parent, if you are a good example as a parent, you will have very few don'ts to your children. Because the primary basic method of learning is observation. You don't need to tell people to observe. They will observe automatically if they are around you. You don't need to tell people to look at you. If you are around them, they will automatically look at you. So anything you do, whether you know it or you don't know it, somebody is looking at you. And you are either a good example or a bad example. Jesus did not teach don'ts and do's. He did not sit down with his disciples and tell them, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, do this, don't do this, do this. No. Jesus never told his disciples, you must be waking up every day to go and pray. When you are a good example, many people will look for you. The Bible says in the same chapter, I think in chapter 3, the Bible says, when the Sabbath came, they, he went to the synagogue as his custom was. Now, he never taught his disciples, he never told his disciples every Sunday, make sure that you are going to church. They, every Sabbath, they saw him go to church. And listen, 
People catch what you do more than what you tell them. People are affected by your behavior more than your words. Your character influences people more than your words. Jesus was always ahead. If it is going to church, he was ahead. If it is going to prayer, he was ahead. Can I tell you something? When you become a good example, good example is a rebuke to those who oppose what you are doing. Come on, you are a good example in behavior. You are a good example is a rebuke to those who have bad, bad behavior. People learn more by looking at the way you do things than what they learn by what you tell them. People learn more by what they see. That's why Jesus was very keen in the way he was doing things because he knew that is the best way to train people. Anybody with logics, if you are a leader, anybody with logics will not be told do this what your leader is doing. Just like kids. Kids. You don't tell kids to do many things. They pick. They pick things. And mostly from parents. They pick things. They pick things. From what they are seeing. Do you know why some children will fake prayer? They will even speak in tongues. Their own tongues. And don't blame them. They are okay. You only need to teach them. Because they are used to hearing tongues. So they pick it. I discovered that the church that has a pastor that is a giver, the church will be giving church. It will just enter them without knowing. Because hmm, what we are enters people freely more than what we tell them. What we are enters people freely and easily more than what we tell them. What we are. People that will sit under you, they somehow share in what you are first. What you are, not what you tell them. What you are. Because people cannot give what they are not. That's why when a leader, your life is not your own. When you become a leader in whatever capacity, know that your life is not about you. Know that your life is affecting some people. Whether you know it or you don't know it. Because there are people looking at you. And there are people picking things from you. A lazy leader will have lazy followers. Because that is what he is. That's what they pick from him. A leader who is not committed will have followers who are not committed. Because you cannot give what you are not. You cannot communicate what you are not. People communicate what they are first. What you are is what goes to people first. The people around you. Do you know why you have the DNA of your parent? Because that is what DNA means what I am. Yeah. And you don't do anything to get DNA. You don't do anything. You only need to belong. You don't do anything. Because the people around you will just have what you are first before they can have anything else. What you are. Great leaders, they fight their comfort zones. What do they do? They fight. That's a very important element for a leader. Comfort zones must be fought in order to break out. Every great leader breaks the comfort every time. Comfort can be your enemy to your, for your next level. You are comfort. You are today's comfort. If you want to be progressive in life, don't let comfort hold you. Do you know? People pray more when there are problems. 
when everything is okay, it is natural for prayer to reduce. It's only discipline that can make somebody continue. Look. Do you know even faith can be affected by your comfort? Great leaders don't allow comfort to hold them. Because comfort is the enemy of better. As he was going into a village, ten men who were in leprosy met him. They stood at a distance. Let's see what they did. And called out. What did they do? Give us King James. Let's see how King James is putting it. <laughs> what did they do? You see, you can blame them. You, you, it's you now. Some of you, even your prayer, the way you used to pray, changed. Before you did not used to care. Now you are praying very diplomatic prayers. Yeah. They lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. But when they got healed, nobody even bothered to come back. They entered their comfort. And Jesus was surprised by them. Some of us, God is looking at us and he is surprised. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice, he turned back and with a loud voice sauti ya kwanza ilikuwa ya kuitisha msaanda sauti ya pili ilikuwa ya kushukuru hiyo ya mwisho ndiyo amuna And fell down on his face at his feet. Giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. If you want to be successful. And be progressive in life. You must learn how to break your comfort. Yeah. He said. If I was shouting to Jesus. When I am leprosy. I can shout more. When I am healed. If I was shouting when I end problems, I can shout better when the problems are taken away. That is the concept. And many people don't seem to get it. That is why many people are mark timing. Na wanafika maali, wanansa kwenda in circles. Yeah. Because mungu anashanga. Look, look at what happens. Look at Jesus. Verse 17. <laughs> and Jesus answering said, Where were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? That's not just a question. It's an expression of surprise. It's not just a question. That's when I shanga. Yani ya watu walikuwa wanapika makelele hivi. Ata kurundi hawawezi. Ha watu walikuwa na enyi na... Jesus is surprised. Anything good God gives you is that you may do what you are doing better. Anything that goes wrong around you, you have an excuse. You miss church, you have an excuse. You can't come for prayer. You have an excuse. You come late. You have an everything. Because Babu, you are comfort. in may part a fast bone. And I to excuse. Excuse. Every, you must, you, now out of tag excuses, ziku apa. Do you know problems 
zina uanga excuses. Ukitaka kuona mahali hakuna excuse, tafuta mtu wako na shinda. Hata kuwa na excuse ya kwenda kanisani. Hata kuwa na excuse ya maombi. Hata kuwa na excuse ya kutafuta Mungu. Kwa sababu where comfort is broken, excuses die. 